Hello and welcome to Darth Snoogan's Toy Reviews. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the Masters of the Universe Man at Arms from the Cartoon Collection. Now this is uh, the newest release from the Cartoon Collection line. Uh, I say newest, but uh, these are all kind of been slowly uh, popping up on Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, I had this one on pre-order and it finally came in. Uh, so yeah, these are pretty cool. They're different than our standard uh, Origins figures. They actually use a different buck. You'll see that here in a moment. The legs are different. If you watched the previous videos that I did on the He-Man and the uh, Beast-Man figure, then uh, you're really uh, <laughs> you're up to date on what the difference is on these. But So today we get to take a look at Man-at-Arms, the Heroic Master of Weapons. Uh, let's look at the back of the box, and let's see if I can get a picture of this artwork a little bit better here. As seen on the Dragon Invasion. So that's uh, that's what the weapon is that comes with him. The Stasis Ray. Pretty neat. Yeah, twist into powerful battle positions. All right, and then we got our cross-sell art of uh, He-Man, Beast-Man, Man-at-Arms, and Skeletor. Uh, my Skeletor just came in to Big Bad Toy Store, so I'm still uh, waiting for that one to ship. Hopefully I'll have that soon, and then I'll at least I'll have the first wave. Uh, so that's cool. Looking forward to the uh, Trap Jaw figure that's coming soon. So yeah, as you can see, he's got his mace. Now it is an oversized mace, uh, mace just like, uh, looks a lot like the one we got with the Super 7 figure when they did their retro collection. So let's uh, let's get it out of the package and uh, we'll get a better look at it. All right, so it comes with Wizards, Wizard Vizard, Wizards, what does that say? Wizard's Wizard. That's weird. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Uh, but this is the new comic that comes with it. I don't recall this one being with uh, the He-Man figure. So yeah, we get the uh, Skeletor with those masks. Pretty nice. I dig the artwork. The artwork's actually really, really good on these. Yeah, so uh, if you have this figure, if you've seen this figure, you, you're you probably familiar with this. But uh, yeah, uh, if I can ever get some better images of this, some still shots or some scans, I'll put those up. Uh, we also get our little diagram that all of the Origins figures have been known to have. So we've got, uh, let's see, the head, the arms. You can pop them off at the boots. You can pop them off at the waist. Very cool. All right, so let's get to the actual figure. And let me get him out and we'll go from there. Oh, well, <laughs> he didn't have any bands holding in, him in, so uh, that saved us some time and uh, some editing, so that's cool. He's a little stiff, but it's a very nice, nice looking figure. I'm going to let him stand for just a minute, get his mace out, and here's that stasis ray that he comes with. This is very similar to that uh, weapon that the uh, beast man came with, if you ask me. Uh, both are meant to be held with both hands. Not the easiest to do. So let me lower the camera down to his level so we can uh, see him a little better. All right, so here we have our Man-at-Arms. I do like the color. Reminds me a lot of our vintage figure in a lot of ways. Definitely got a cool color scheme. Always, always like Man-at-Arms. Uh, and here's that oversized mace. 
I do like that we're getting the armor on both sides, which is something that our standard uh, Origins figure and our Vintage figure never had. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the boots. They're just, that's a little weird to me. And it almost looks like it's so thin that it's uh, translucent on around the edges. I don't know if that was a design choice or if that's just uh, how it was made and how it turned out. So yeah, uh, it looks cool. The head sculpt's really nice. Very much like the uh, cartoon series. Uh, the back is full, which I like as well, instead of there being the uh, the straps. And it looks like it's just, uh, yeah, you just got these little, uh, little attachments here to hold that on. That's cool. So yeah, it's really hard to... Uh, appreciate this figure unless we look at some of the others so first i think i want to look at the super 7 figure because this looks more like it than it does any of the other versions of man at arms that we've had so let me set him off to the side for just a moment and here is that uh retro as seen on tv man at arms for super 7 and let me see if i can brighten up the lights a little bit I don't know if the angle is going to show it very well, but he's got this really dark green. Uh, but you can see design-wise, there are a lot of similarities. You get the armor on both sides. You get the larger mace. Uh, you get the very, very uh, generic uh, ankle armor. So it looks like, you know, and even this is a lot less detail, kind of like what they did here. So it, it really feels like that Mattel is just going back and redoing the figures that Super 7 did. Now, to be fair, the Super 7, Super 7 figures are the standard articulation of our old vintage figures. Uh, they even come with the, the little spring back action that our Origins figures do not. Uh, we lose all that, though, with our Origins because the Origins stuff is there's no spring action. We just get all that extra articulation and removable parts. Uh, much better figures, but if you're looking for stuff to go in with your vintage stuff, these were pretty neat to have. So not to be outdone, I think it. Uh, I think we need to look at our origins version of uh, Man at Arms, which is a great upgrade to the vintage figure. If you're if you really love the vintage figures, this was a great one to get because it. Uh, you got everything that you had with the vintage, except you finally got mustache on your Duncan. So, so that was a that was a cool addition. Uh, and then if you if you preferred the version without the mustache, you could always pick up that Palace uh, Guard set that actually came with an additional Man at Arms head without the mustache to look like the vintage version. So that was cool. You could uh, you could have uh, both versions in your set if you wanted to. So yeah. I really like these. I like I like the uh, I like the additional height that you get because the legs stand up straighter. They're not trying to mimic uh, the vintage squatted leg style that what Origins initially was doing. Sure, you could straighten their legs out, but still, uh, the build was meant to be more of a squat instead of a straight leg. Whereas these guys, you can see those legs are you know, for standing up straight. So yeah, it's a really cool set. Uh, a, re a really cool figure, I should say. The only problem here is if you're, if you're one of the people who wants to swap parts, the color greens are very different. Now, if you want to, you know, if you wanted to have all this armor on this version of Man at Arms, I'm sure you could. But uh, let's take a look and see how how well they match up. So we're going to pop off our Origins Man-at-Arms head. And we'll pop off the Cartoon Collection head. And are they even compatible? That works. Yes. So the heads are compatible. Uh, I will say, though, that the with this head, his chin sticks out far, so he does hit. Uh, the little shield on his on his chest armor. So that's completely a preference if that's something you like. 
go ahead and swap them back. Yeah, you can see where this one has plenty of room. And I will say that the, the head just feels a little weird on this version. I do prefer it here. Now, how well will the arms swap? The arms, the arms swap out just fine. Those pegs are, are identical. Uh, yeah, you just have to deal with <laughs> the armor on that first man at arms. That It always seems to get loose around the arm. So if you wanted the more detailed version on this version of man at arms, I'm sure you could just swap out the chest armor, maybe take off this armor. But uh, as far as the legs are concerned, let's give this a try. Not the easiest, I will say that. Let me pop this leg armor off. Yeah, you can uh, you can put those boots if you prefer those standard style boots on your cartoon collection man at arms. You could certainly do it and give him all this armor. It might actually look pretty cool. So yeah, that's uh, that's completely up to you. You've got all those options, and that's what a lot of people love about the uh, Masters Universe Origins figures is all the swapping parts. Uh, I tend not to do that. I tend to, I tend to keep mine with all their original parts. Uh, I don't buy a whole lot of them. I don't buy multiples. Some people will buy three or four of them just so they can swap parts out. Great if you got the money to do that. More power to you. Uh, I do not. So I tend to keep all my stuff original and uh, keep them keep them together, keep all their parts. Uh, I keep all the like accessories in a box to keep everything from getting lost. Uh, it's still sometimes hard to find everything. But yeah, as much as I really like this Man-at-Arms from our first Origins release, I think, I think I like this one better. Now, I don't like this Mace a whole lot. I mean, it just like... The Super 7 one, it's just kind of goofy. Never been a big fan of that. So I think I would prefer the smaller mace. Even though in his hands, it just looks kind of, uh, you know, undersized. I don't know. Maybe there, maybe there should be another weapon for this guy. But uh, yeah, I dig it. I dig the figure. Glad to add this to my collection. Uh, and also, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, stasis ray. How well does he hold it? Well, luckily he comes with two gripping hands. So, let's see how well he can actually hold it with both hands. Because I know the um, <laughs> the beast man I had a hard time with. Yeah, this one's, this one's better than that beast man one. So that's kind of neat. If you want to recreate a scene from that animated show, there you go. I dig it. So let's see how well he looks uh, next to uh, the other figures that we've picked up so far, which is our cartoon collection He-Man and our cartoon collection Beast-Man. So here we have our He-Man. And let's see, here's our Beast Man. And I really like these. I really like the simplicity that they went with on the designs. And they, they basically dumbed them down quite a bit to make them look like the animation cells, which is fine. That's, that's, that's what a lot of us wanted. Uh, so yeah, you have to let me know uh, which one is your favorite so far that's been released. Hopefully I'll have that Skeletor soon and I'll be able to uh, do a video on it. All right, everybody. So uh, sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, do you like this figure? Do you prefer it over our standard vintage? Or uh, do you like the new Turtles of Grayskull version, which uh, I'm hoping to get my hands on soon? Sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. As always, I appreciate you guys sticking around. Watch another video. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.